This is Anthony Olympia with Six String Country, and these lessons we'll be working on Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt. It was written by Sam Hunt along with uh, Zach Kral, Josh Osborne, and Shane McAnally. Um, we'll be working also with a, an easy strum thing for you in case you want to kind of have something a little simpler. Um, otherwise, we'll have a normal acoustic rhythm lesson. Uh, some pretty cool lead stuff. Really just a lot of simple, fun stuff to work on. So let's get started. Girl from the south side, got braids in her hair. First time I seen her walk by, man, I about fell up on my chair. I had to get her number, it took me like six weeks. Now me and her go way back, like Cadillac seats. Body like a back road, driving with my eyes closed. I know every curve like the back of my hand. Doing 15 and a 30 I ain't in no hurry I'ma take it slow Just as fast as I can The way she fit in them blue jeans She don't need no bill but I can turn them inside out I don't need no help Got lips like honey So fucking so sweet there Ain't no curves like hers On them downtown streets Body like a back road, driving with my eyes closed. I know every curve like the back of my head. This is the rhythm lesson for Body Like a Back Road, right? And like I was saying in the intro um, to all this stuff, uh, we're going to have an easy strum video for you as well. There's one that's kind of going to mirror what sounds like is on the album recording, and then we'll give you a version if you're just kind of wanting something a little simpler, a little more what you would usually strum like, right? I'll give you that in a little bit on a different video. Here is what I put on the track to mirror the um, Sam Hunt recording, right? Sounds like this. Okay, so I'm, I'm really just doing a lot of bar chords, um, which is kind of unusual, I guess, for a rhythm track. Usually you think, you know, big open chords. Uh, but we're in the key of F, and it just seems like those uh, the bar chords is the way they're playing it. I actually looked up a video on YouTube to make, and the D, second fret of the G, first fret is being barred on the B string, right? So, next chord comes with a up strum here. I've got a C bar chord, third fret of the A, fifth fret of the D, G, and B. Right, and then I move up here to a D minor bar chord. Okay, I've got the 5th fret of the A, 7th fret of the D and the G, and then 6th fret of the B. Right? Right on the downbeat there. And then we'll do a B flat power chord. Okay? Um, I'm not worried about the high E string. Really, the high E string can ring if it does in, in this stuff, but I don't know if it's necessarily 100% important, so I'm not putting it in the, in the tab. So we have 1st fret of the A, 3rd fret of the D, G, and B for that B flat, right? So it might take a little work, a little practice to get all those placed and make it sound clean. And um, it might just take a little bit of extra work to get that right, but I promise when you do, it'll be really cool. And honestly, um, if, you're, if you're at this Easy Strum video thinking like, I really need something simpler, um, I would actually suggest maybe even the regular rhythm part. It's pretty simple too. It just has tabs. Um, so if you can read tabs, I would still try that regular rhythm part we have for you. Let's go ahead and try um, two tempo with a click. Let's try this progression a couple times. This is the easy strum version of all this stuff, right? So here we go. One, two, ready, go. One more time. This is the lead lesson for Body Like a Back Road, right? First things first, let's talk about um, what pickups we're using, what kind of effects we're using. We're gonna be using medium gain or less, really like to taste. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, just screaming. Um, 
no delay really, maybe some reverb if you got it. Um, not he hugely important. Um, we're gonna go back and forth between the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. Uh, we'll start off on the neck pickup, right? So you can go ahead and flip there if you need to. Um, we're gonna be in the key of F. Um, not playing a whole lot of low notes. It's really gonna be some octave chords. You know, um, and just sort of Kind of just some stuff that floats around here and there. Um, let's just get started at the intro, right? Right, so we got these octave chords going on. Whenever you do octave chords um, with your pointer finger on either the D or the G string, you know, you're in standard tuning, um, those octave chords are gonna be two a cool uh, thing. Three. Uh, we're going to be barring on the 5th fret of the D and the G, and we're going to hammer on to the 7th fret of the D with our ring finger here. Do that twice, and then 3rd fret of the A and the 5th. Right? And uh, we're going to rest another measure, and then rest the half of the next measure, so it'll be like, one, two, one. We're doing these, uh, fourth sliding, we're sliding around fourths, you know. Uh, we have the fifth fret of the G, sixth fret of the B, and we're gonna play these together. Slide up two frets, so it's the seventh fret of the G, eighth fret of the B. Come back down and slide up again, and then back, so. Right, that makes sense? Um, and that'll be all we do for that uh, breakdown. And the outro, right, just adding the. Uh, the down up muted strum is the only addition makes the outro different, or at least the last four measures of the outro. Okay, so I'll add those in now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, and now getting into the first chorus. It's that rake. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, as fast as I can. Back, oh. 